Welcome back everyone to the next episode of Craft Brew Gamer's Solo Cup Adventures. Um, as you can see, A, I got a haircut. B, I'm back at home. And C, we're still playing The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Um, so it's been like a week since I've played this. And I do not remember what the fuck that I just did. I remember meeting a spaceman, solving a murder. Uh, I guess I just gotta continue walking down the train tracks. Man, this is beautiful. It's still beautiful. Again, I've been drinking still. Um, here's to you. Red wine. Bad hangovers. Bad hangovers. Ugh. Yum. And, uh, since this is supposed to be a spooky puzzler game, let me dedicate this episode to fear. What are you scared of? What makes you poop your pants? Because what makes my son poop his pants? It's his dad getting a haircut. Didn't know it was me. And it was like, who the fuck are you? And I was like, it's me, dad. I'm your dad. Doesn't look like anything to do over here. Many trains have been through here for a long time. That was part of a pattern. Large pieces of this country were thrown away, doomed to become, and then remain, the worst versions of themselves. Beneath all that rot, dark things grow. Dark. Dark things. Let's look at the rot. Let's look at it. Let's rot. Let's look at it. So, as I was saying, fear. What makes you poop your pants in the middle of the night and make you cry? See, my biggest fear I discovered. Okay, so one. My biggest, what I would say, legitimate fear is mortality. And the way I realized, like, this fear of mortality is, um, I think I was like. 11, 12 years old, because I still lived in New York, and it was 1997, so, oh, I must have been much younger than that, mm, I would say 1997, maybe like 7 years old or some shit like that, that is gorgeous, what a nice little town, filled with spooks and scares. Here's a nice little lighthouse, a nice little that house. Um, so, I found out I was scared of mortality in a very weird way. The weird way is um, the death of Princess Diana. You're like, what? What the fuck are you talking about, the death of Princess Diana? Yeah, the death of motherfucking... Princess Diana. Right? So, how her death equals my fear is actually very media based. Um. And how I say media base is that there was nothing but like 24 hour coverage. And I think I did like a book report or something about it her earlier, like in her, all of her philanthropy or some shit like that. S something. So I knew a good bit about her. Read. Text. I invoke the bon the bonus one. 
the one of voids, destroyer of ships, and he is feared by the winds. Hear me. The great minister folklore, I wish to make a pact with you to confound my enemies and protect my possessions. Use the doors of confusion to cloud their judgment, seal the path with falsity and guile, and permit only those who can discern every true interior to the path. Algon, Tetragram, Wakeon. These are very bad Pokemon names. Stim Stimulaton. And fairs, Tetragram, Alamamama, and Stinchin, Extinction. Okay, th these are just Black Sabbath, Adne, Ozzy Osbourne, Adorato Invicto, Amen. Uh, well, I don't. I don't even know. I don't. I don't even know. What the hell was that? So, as I was saying, by media coverage, is that there was a whole bunch of. Oh God, what the fuck did that note mean? Okay. Let's go back here. Um, is that there was nothing but like 24 hour media coverage of her death and all that jazz. So, I think it was around like 3 a.m. I had the TV on in my room, which I shared with my older brother. And... Oh shit, 1997, I think that's like the year my sister, little sister was born. Um, but yeah. You need to talk to your son. He Whoa. was walking around in the old Vandergriff house again. Said he found some secret room. Okay. Oh. Okay. Great, if you leave a room, you lose the fucking context. Um, so... Zoom in. Is that Ethan? Is that Ethan? Is that you? Is that you, you little fuck? Is that you? That's you, you little fuck. So. What did you do? Whoa, what did, what did I you do? Wake up? Fuck. Nothing. I Ghosts and spooks and goblins. Jesus Christ, don't tell me what to do, Mom. God. So, because there was nothing but, like, this media coverage about this death, like, I realized, oh, shit, people die. And the worst thing about it is that... It, right? Ugh. Something coming from the vein. Damn, I'm... Yeah, I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. Ooh, who's gonna spank him? <laughs> not me. I'm not Jared Fogle. And you better not be either. Um. Yeah, what was kind of messed up about it is that I, like, my uncle had passed away. Ugh. I'm talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know. Old people just not knowing shit. My uncle passed away around the same time as well. So I was kind of like surrounded by like people passing away and losing people. And that's when I came to the realization of oh shit, when you die, you're gone. You're. You have to help us. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. All crazy. All crazy. So, because Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. No, old man, I don't know. Did I go in this room? I don't know. Um, so I learned about mortality that way, and 
that made me real scared because then also when you learn about mortality you, and you think deeper into it, you think how minuscule you are. So I think that was the underlying. The books. The motherfucking family books. blamed him. Whatever it was he'd accidentally let loose, his family was convinced that hurting him would solve their problems, would soothe their disturbed minds. Whatever haunted the Carters was still here somewhere. In the wind. So. So yeah, you learn, when you think deeply about mortality, you think about your how minuscule life is and how minuscule you are in the grand scheme of things. Especially then, because I was also big into like space and stuff, so I learned, like, not through school, because God knows you're not, not going to learn this in fucking school in New York City, um in public school in New York City um but through myself going to the library because my mom took us to the library all the time um I was learning about space and stuff and learning about like supernovas and whatnot, and learning that basically everything's gonna die so that really freaked me out as a kid that everything was going to die um wasn't there like a blue thing here before Okay, put back. Oh, here, that's how you activate it. Okay. Door. Um, this looks exactly like the other house. So, um, how do you? That's not right. Okay. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Okay. Guess I gotta redo that. Um. Oh, I gotta stay here and swap it. So, kitchen. Is this the kitchen? Yes. Boom, that's the kitchen. And... Oh no, did I fuck up? What the fuck did I do? Okay. Shit. Okay. Fuck, I don't remember any of this. I guess I'm doing it right? Oh, fuck. Okay. I fucked up. Boom. Swap. Kitchen. There you go. Nope. Got it wrong. Fuck. Do you have to stay in the doorway or something? Okay, I'm in the second stairs. Okay. There we go. Um, there we go. And what is this room supposed to be? Um, okay. Shit, I'm getting this right. So, as I was saying about like finding about finding out about my own mortality. Um, uh, that's not right. 
That's the kitchen. And Okay. Did I get that wrong? Fuck. Well, we'll do this next time on Craft Brew Gamers. Bye.